with Prophet T.D. Joshua and catch the fire to cross the bridge into 2014. The year of glory. The year of destiny. The year of crossing the bridge. Catch the fire. Be was catch the fire. To cross the bridge. This is year of glory, year of destiny. I don't know the situation you are facing. Jesus knows. 
no matter the difficulty, no matter the situation you are in over there, are you on the sick bed? Whatever name they call that sickness, hey, my God, nothing can change your destiny. There was what can separate you? Can that sickness separate you? No. Affliction separate you? Infirmity separate you? Nothing. Nothing can separate you. There was at home. I command your dream for many years. Come true. Dream of breakthrough. Come true. Dream of good health, come true. Dream of prosperity, come to fulfillment. Dream of long life, come true. Come true. In Jesus' name, you have discovered yourself. Church of All Nations, TV Joshua, and Emmanuel TV social networking sites. The app is simple and easy and is compatible with iPhones, Android devices, iPads, and Android tablets. You can send your prayer requests and watch Emmanuel TV live and pray along with Prophet TV Joshua or send your testimonies and much, much more. Available for free download at www.emanuel.tv.
with Prophet T.D. Joshua and catch the fire to cross the bridge into 2014. The year of glory, the year of destiny, the year of crossing the bridge. Catch the fire. Be was catch the fire. To cross the bridge. Para cruzar el puente. This is year of glory, the year of destiny. destiny. I don't know the situation you are facing. Jesus knows. Jesus knows. No matter the difficulty, no matter the situation you are in over there, are you on the sick bed? Whatever name they call that sickness, my girl. Nothing can change your destiny. Divas, what can separate you? Can that sickness separate you? No. Affliction separate you? Infirmity separate you? Nothing. Nothing can separate you. Viva at home. I command your dream for many years. Come through. Dream of breakthrough. Come through. Dream of good health. Come through. Dream of prosperity. Come to fulfillment. Dream of long life. Come through. In Jesus' name. In the Jesus. You have discovered yourself. that I don't see a car driving across the sticker. Who's the man on that sticker? <laughs> oh, that sticker. That's an anointing sticker. The yes, man on that sticker is Prophet TV Joshua. Prophet? But what does a prophet do? A prophet is the communicator between the seen and unseen, the visible and invisible. But what do prophets do? Prophets are sent to utter the deep things of God for the conviction of sin. There were many prophets in the Bible, Prophet Malachi, Prophet Elijah, Prophet Samuel, and Prophet Isaiah. For example, Prophet Isaiah prophesied the birth of Jesus. 
Long before Jesus was born, prophet Isaiah heralded the arrival of a child who was to become our hope. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a son. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. all shades of darkness in our lives, a great light, both for direction and comfort to the people of God. The blind will be able to see and the deaf will hear, the lame will leap and dance, and those who cannot speak will shout for joy, streams of water will flow through the desert. So do you mean prophets are still alive even today? Yes. So do prophets only foretell the future events? No, not only do they prophesy. They were sent to utter the deep things of God for edification and comfort. They also preach and teach the word with power. Oh, I said prophets only existed in ancient Bible times. No, in fact, prophets did not die out with the Old Testament. They are a major thing of the New Testament, even today. In fact, there was a prophet called A.A. A. Allen in 1966 who prophesied to evangelist C.S. up the grove about prophet T.V. Joshua. I am evangelist C.S. up the grove from the United States of America. Many years ago, when I was working with great men of God like A.A. A. Allen, William Branham, Oral Roberts, R. W. Shambach, great men of the past. And I was riding one day in the automobile with A. A. Allen. And he looked over at me and he said, Brother Up the Grove, I may not be living when this comes to pass, but I believe you will. And he began to describe this place. He began to talk about a man that would walk out under the anointing and the power of the Almighty God. He further described all of the miracles that I have witnessed since I have been here. A. A. Allen said, Brother Up the Grove, there will be a multitude of people from all over the world that will hear simultaneously. When he further began to tell me about the anointing and the power that was going to come upon such men as Prophet T.B. Joshua. <clears throat> and ever since I've been here, uh, I remembered when I first saw on Emmanuel television this man of God as he began to move in supernatural realms. Prophet T.B. Joshua honored the check and conduct of the Holy Spirit, minister spirit-filled prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And instantly, Jesus comes to the scene. I can see! 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 Hallelujah! I can see! Saw the prophecies that came to pass. Brother, what doctor say about your, your medical report? Forget about that. I'm seeing a low compound. Jesus Christ. Why? That is, that is absolutely shocking. That I can say that. I'm shocked. You are shocked. Ah, you are impossible. When you possess faith, faith demands 
impossible. What ordinarily not possible, that is what faith does. Make no mistake about it, you're living in the presence of a mighty prophet sent from God. God said to me, as I was watching this man on Emmanuel television, he said, this is my prophet. I have good news for you. Jesus said, I will be with you always, even to the end of the earth. I will be with you. Jesus is alive. Jesus lives. He never said goodbye. He knew Jesus is still alive. Emmanuel TV kids from Johannesburg, South Africa. We would like to wish all the Emmanuel TV viewers a Merry Christmas. We also would like to wish all the wise men and senior prophet TV Joshua a Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. into 2014 the year of glory the year of destiny the year of crossing the bridge catch the fire be was catch the fire to cross the bridge this is year of glory, year of destiny. I don't know the situation you are facing. Jesus knows. Jesus knows. No matter the difficulty, no matter the situation you are in over there, are you on the sick bed? Whatever name they call that sickness, <laughs> my God, 
nothing can change your destiny. Nada puede cambiar su destino. Divas, what can separate you? Can that sickness separate you? No. Affliction separate you? Infirmity separate you? Nothing. Nothing can separate you. Diva at home, I command your dream for many years. Come through. Dream of breakthrough. Come through. Dream of good health, come true. Dream of prosperity, come to fulfillment. Dream of long life, come true. Se vuelve realidad. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. You have discovered yourself. on scooter four.
With easy access to all the Synagogue Church of All Nations, TV Joshua and Emmanuel TV social networking sites. The app is simple and easy and is compatible with iPhones, Android devices, iPads and Android tablets. You can send your prayer requests and watch Emmanuel TV live and play along with Prophet TV Joshua or send your testimonies and much, much more. Available for free download at www.emmanuel.tv. love he is without peer there's nothing to compare richer than any minerals love God love the orphans the strangers the widow the needy just name them
Quick pray along with Prophet T.D. Joshua and catch the fire to cross the bridge into 2014. The year of glory, the year of destiny, the year of crossing the bridge. Catch the fire. Be what? Catch the fire. To cross the bridge. This is year of glory, year of destiny. I don't know the situation you are facing. Jesus knows. No matter the difficulty, no matter the situation you are in over there, are you on the sick bed? Whatever name they call that sickness, hey, my God, nothing can change your destiny. Viewers, what can separate you? Can that sickness separate you? No. Affliction separate you? Infirmity separate you? Nothing. Nothing can separate you. Viewers at home, I command your dream for many years. Come through. Dream of breakthrough. Come through. Dream of good health, come true. Dream of prosperity, come to fulfillment. Dream of long life, come true. Dream of reality. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. You have discovered yourself. nothing without his word. God's word is his gift to mankind. When we read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, we see that Christ and his word are one. God's word reflects his character and points us the way to salvation, healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessing. By looking into the word, and acting on it, we bring Jesus Christ on the scene. To bring Jesus on the scene, the living word must live in you, grow in you, and get into your blood to gain supremacy over you. Learn to dream again as we look to God through his word by his spirit. Get ready to open your heart to God's word, faith, and spirit as we listen to what God has to say in today's Standard for Life.
Hallelujah. You may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The year is coming to an end. And we are about entering into a new year. Are you there? Praise be to the Lord. Let me quickly take you to the book of First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave back to him in pay. Today, you keep asking yourself, what is the cause of this? Why this? Why that? Listen to our brother here, Jabez. Crying out to the Lord of Israel, hope oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from trouble so that I will be free from pain, from poverty, from isolation, from rejection. Jabez prayed to God. God gave him a new beginning. The Bible says he became more honorable than his brothers. If you open the year with prayer, God will give you a new beginning. You are here today to open the year with prayer. If you open the year with prayer, you will become what God says you are. This is why we are here today. We are here to open the year with prayer. We all know that using the solution of the old, we will not make any difference. If you must fit into God's divine arrangement, you need to change your thinking, your way, your utterances, your approach to things. This is why we are here today. You can begin to light your candle. The man of God has given the instruction in righteousness that we should light our candle. The man of God is lighting the candles in the church auditorium right now. So let us humbly go there and light ours. You can light from your colleague. Man of God has given further instruction that we can light from our brothers and sisters that are very close to us. If you are sitting very far away from where the candlestick is, just light with your neighbor wherever you are in the church auditorium, outside the church auditorium. Give us all over the world, catch the fire. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you are all over the world, where can you go from his presence? In the east? North? South? Where can you go from his presence? If you go to east, north, South, West, cash the fire. Anywhere you are all over the world, by faith, cash the fire. Because whatever happens here today, with faith, anywhere you are, you'll be a partaker. Thank you. I know you have received yours. 
Hallelujah. Jabez prayed to the Lord. God gave him a new beginning. Jabez prayed to the Lord. The Lord gave him a new beginning, a new life. The Bible says he became more honorable than his brothers. If you open the new year with prayer, God will give you a new beginning, yeah. a new life. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Stretch it forward. Up. Just up above power. Above all kings, above all nature and all created things. Above all wisdom and all the ways of man. We shout Happy New Year. We are confessing our inability to keep our resolution. Listen, each time we shout Happy New Year, we are confessing our inability to keep our resolution inability to keep our promises because Jesus is the same his year is the same it is our resolutions that actually make the year one of promises it is our resolutions that actually make the year one of promises if we keep our resolution we feel fulfilled we are here again to make another resolution i will not lie again i will not steal again i will not smoke again before we know it, 
we are back into smoking. We want to pray. Prayer to the Holy Spirit to act in us that we may keep our resolution. Prayer. Act in me. Oh, Holy Spirit. That I may keep my resolutions. Act in me. Oh, Holy Spirit. That I may keep my resolutions. Prayer. Dit Saint Esprit, agis en moi afin que je puisse garder ma résolution. Saint Esprit, agis en moi afin que je puisse respecter ma résolution. Élevez la voix et priez. Commence l'oration de prophète en cette en cette occasion de la noche de velas, orando. Señor Jesucristo, haz que mantenga mis propósitos. Ore. Ouvre tes soins, élève la voix et prie. Recuerde que el profeta ha dicho que cada vez que mencionamos un nuevo año, próspero año nuevo, confesamos nuestro pecado por la inhabilidad, la incapacidad de mantener nuestros propósitos. Que es toi la maison, eleve la voz y prie. Je lis dans la prière, oh Saint Esprit, agis en moi afin que je puisse garder ma résolution. Recuerde que confesamos nuestro pecado al decir próspero año nuevo, puesto que fallamos en nuestros propósitos de año. Prometemos no fumar, prometemos no pecar mal, pero encontramos nuestro ser pecando. Ore para mantener sus propósitos. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. A new year is a gift from God. In the new year, therefore, you are called to God's kind of lifestyle. So right now, I want you to open your lips. Since God is the reason for the new year, ask Him to give you the grace to defend all that you promise. Prayer. L'homme de Dieu vient de dire que la nouvelle année est un don de Dieu. La nouvelle année est un don de Dieu. Demande au Saint Esprit de faire la grâce de défendre tout ce qui est vrai. El hombre de Dios ha dicho que este año es un regalo de Dios. Le nouvel an est un don de Dieu. Tu es appelé au style de vie de Dieu. Alors, élève la voix, mais le Saint-Esprit.